To install your node, start by unboxing the node. Verifying that your accessory box has all the materials shipped out. Your quick install guide. Your USB hub or USB splitter. Your USB C data transfer cable. An SAE to SAE extension cable. And an M6 Allen key. Start by removing the main mount from the node to take the cardboard pad used for shipping. Next, take the end caps off of the node. Here you will find a USB-C port that you'll be using to connect the node to Ethernet if you would like to make this node into a gateway. But for now, we will just put it back into the main mount. Making sure that the clamp is aligned with the cutout of the node right here. Use your Allen key to tighten it. You may hand tighten it first, followed by twerking it with the Allen key. To connect to your node, download the Mesh++ app, create an account, and search for your node through the menu. The search tab will bring up all the nodes around us. This node in particular has a MAC address of 0034. Click on it and turn the node on. Once the node shows a green or red light after its yellow boot light, you may either connect the node to Ethernet if you'd like to use it as a gateway or you can add the node to a network. First we will connect it to Ethernet and then I'll show you how to add it to a network. Take your USB hub, connect an Ethernet cable to it. Here there will be two ports for USB-C. The one in the inside is for charging, the one on the outside is for data transfer. Take your data transfer cable with both dots facing upward. Connect the data transfer cable to the outer USB-C port and connect the dot facing upward, facing upward on the node. Make sure that the gear is facing upward and the LED windows are also facing upward to ensure that the node itself is in its right position. Your node's lights should have turned blue, indicating that it is in gateway mode and connected to Ethernet. This is critical for deployment of multiple nodes where one of them is required to be connected to either Ethernet or an LTE connection with the SIM card, but in this case we'll have it connected to Ethernet and then we would be able to grab other nodes 
and connect them to this one using our network functionality. To set up a network, simply go to Setup, Network, enter your network name. I'll name this Quick Install. Set your location. Press create. And here you may add nodes or create an SSID. We'll go back to the node that we had found in the original search, A10034. Here you may set up this node, add it to the associated network, Click install, choose the node's location, and set up. Now your node is added to the network and can be used as a repeater in case another node is connected to a gateway and it requires it to broadcast internet. To access your network, simply go to dashboard. Here we'll search for our network, quick install. If you click on the nodes tab, you will see that our node A10034 is on there. If you go to settings, you can create an SSID. This will broadcast a Wi-Fi network for you to be able to log in from other devices so long as one of the nodes is connected to Ethernet or a SIM card. Enter your SSID name. We'll call it Quick Install once again. And choose your security. If you're using security with a password, you may choose a password with a minimum of eight characters. We will call ours test network and create. Now that your SSID has been created, you may go onto the settings of your phone, find the network name, and enter the password to log in. Once the node is in a network, we may now install the solar panel onto the main mount and set it up. Our main mount includes four holes on its side so that the node can be mounted using hose clamps. To install the USB hub, find the slots on the main mount and put the hub right down on the knob. Make sure that it snaps in place and you're USB hub is now connected to the main mount. Now we will connect a solar panel to the node. Both sides of the node have an SAE connection and you can use the SAE to SAE extension cable to make the connection to the solar panel. Whichever side is more convenient to you is fine. Take one side of the SAE, connect it to the node, take the other side of the SAE, and connect it to the solar panel. To mount the solar panel onto the node itself, we will use this cutout on the solar arm along with this part of the main mount.
Before fully locking the solar arm onto the main mount, you'll want to start feeding the solar ribbon through the gear shaft. And you do that by moving the knob over and beginning to twist it so that the gears make a connection to the solar ribbon. Upon doing so, close the solar arm and once it's fully closed, the main mount is locked in. You can now use this knob to twist and pull the solar ribbon closer to you, which ultimately changes the angle of the solar panel. Make sure to plug your SAE cable back into the node if it came out. And your node should be charged through solar energy. That is all there is to it. If you have any questions or need help with anything, please do not hesitate to reach out at info at meshplusplus.com or visit our debug page at meshplusplus.com forward slash debug.